Good morning. So it's Monday already and it is the 1st of February. So it's the first day of a new month. It's your birthday in February. Hmm, have a think of your birthdays in February. We've got some birthdays coming up in February and it's the second month of the year. So we've had January and now we've got February and after the weekend it's Monday. So going to start another traditional tale today and if you remember traditional tales are those very very old stories that have been told and retold and told by different people and sometimes changed a little bit and the one we're going to look at this week is going to be the three little pigs. Is there a baddie in this story? You may have read this story before. Have a think. Is there a baddie? Is there a bad character? Does something go wrong in the story? Where's the story set? So where it, does it take place? And who are the characters in the story? Well, who is in the story? Okay, there's no people in the story. They're all animals. So I'm going to read this story shortly. And I'm going to send you a video of me reading this story because it's quite a long story. So I'm going to do it on a separate video. Okay. When you have read the story, I want you to see how much, when you've listened to the story, sorry, I want you to see how much you've remembered about the story. So your grown ups could ask you some questions about the story. Or you could retell that story to your little brother or sister, or big brother or sister, or your mummy daddy nana whoever you're with you could retell the story to them so tell them what you remember about the story and when you have done that because the three pigs lived in three different houses we're going to do an activity to do with houses so that's going to be our activity this morning and then we're going to have our phonics session okay so I want you to tr listen really well to the story and try and remember lots of things about the story for when it ends and maybe think of a different ending because we've been doing that quite a lot and another thing you could do is compare it to the other story so what's the same in the story of the three little pigs as in the gingerbread man and little red riding hood and what's different about the story okay so have a think about all those things after, okay? And you could have a go as well at acting out the story. So you could be, be anyone in that story. You could be one of the pigs, or you could be the wolf, or you could be the mummy pig, and you could play acting out that story. That would be a really fun thing to do, okay? You could even get the other people in your house to be people in The Three Little Pigs with you. So have lots of fun with it and listen well to the story. Have a lovely day.